Today's video is brought to you by the Motherboards.org Gaming Deal of the Week. Today we're talking about Medal of Honor. Get this game for under $6. Check out the link below. Hey, hey, can I get you his lunch and peace around here? Always bugging the Biff Baxter. Fine, fine, fine. All right then, so, let me chew up real quick. You guys know Biff? He likes Mexican Coke. And if the cameraman's so impatient that he has to interrupt my lunch, well then, that's the way it's gotta be. Ah, all right. So new stories of the week. We've got four of them this week. First one is from AMD. Now, you guys know that the FX processor line has recently taken a solid kick to the balls with the release of Bulldozer, which ended up being bull failure or bullshit. I don't know. Some people liked it out there. Me personally, I thought it was kind of eh, it rose not really up to the rumors. But now, the new FX processor is coming out. This is the new pile driver processor, and that's our first story of today. According to industry sources, production of AMD's next generation FX processor family, which are based on its pile driver microarchitecture, will commence in Q3 2012. The chips will be built on the existing AM3 Plus package, retaining compatibility with the current AM3 Plus platforms, which means you don't have to go out and buy a new motherboard to use them. The main differences here, according to AMD, are the increases in the IPC, which is performance to clock speed ratio, and the implementation of resonant clock mesh technology, which increases energy efficiency. Okay, our next big story. For you fans out there who like Microsoft Office and always wish you could use that on your iOS or your Android, well, your wish has come true. Microsoft is planning to release a full suite of Office apps for Android and iOS later this year. The apps are said to be launching in November and with full iOS compatibility. That means we could potentially see apps on the iPhone and iPod Touch in addition to the iPad. Now, I don't know what you folks think out there, but I use Word almost every day and type my reviews and I have a pad. It'd be really cool if I could just use my pad and use Word and be able to take it wherever I want and translate that information. I think this is a pretty cool thing. Tell the Biff what you think. Next up in the news, we know that many of you fellas out there wish that your girlfriend was lighter and we know that's not gonna happen, but hey, Gigabyte's got you covered, at least in the laptop segment. On May 31st, they're releasing the world's lightest notebook to ever be seen. If you read closely and notice, the media invitation reads, Conquer the Sixth Element. And with the sixth element being carbon on the periodic table, it will probably mean that the notebook will use carbon fiber shell. This material would indeed lend itself to being extremely light. Damn, that's some Walter White Breaking Bad shit right there. Our last segment of the news is for you broke-ass motherfuckers out there who ain't got no money and you only want to have yourself a PC that costs y'all 49 bucks. Now, y'all heard of the raspberry? You heard of the ice cream thing? Nah, no, this is something all new from the people over at Via and let's check this Disney out. Serious voice on. The APC measures in at 6.7 inches, not quite a lady pleaser, by 3.3 inches and looks more like a super tiny motherboard than, say, FXI's cotton candy PC on a stick. The PCB uses the Neo ITX form factor, although it can be installed in mini ITX or micro ATX chassis. At the heart of the system is an ARM 11 SoC from Wonder Media. Wonderful. The WM8750 is clocked at 800 megahertz and will run a tweaked version of Android 2.3. There is also 512 megabytes of DDR3 memory and 2 gigabytes of onboard flash storage for the operating system. And since this is more computer-like than most other devices, there is a BIOS chip, audio controller, Ethernet controller. HDMI port, VGA out connection, four USB 2.0 ports, and a micro SD card slot. The system can be powered through a rear mounted 12 volt connector or internally via, no pun intended, four pin 12 volt connector. At full load, the APC consumed only 13.5 watts and sits at around four watts at idle. So now, if you broke as a joke and you can't afford nothing, this is the computer you're gonna be looking like and you're gonna be looking at it. 
It's different than a Raspberry. It's actually a full-fledged PC from the people at Via for $49. So check it out. I'm Biff Baxter. If you guys missed anything, check out the description below. We have deals, even deals, on Diablo 3. So I'm out of here. I got to go find me a can of whoop-ass somewhere. <laughs>